tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Taylor Rapp with a pick. Well, as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you got a chance to take it all the way back at two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there, but that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. And that's why you have your hand team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Rush coming, and he's taken down. The sack there by Roquan Smith. Now, how about that? Defensive coordinator perfectly in sync, dials up a blitz, and the man in the middle, he's the one who gets home. Big Mike. Big Mike. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Allen. Looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. Kyle Hamilton picks it, and they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at about the 32. They'll start by running the option to the right. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. And this play still live. He faked the spike. Going to throw it. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. They go play action with Jackson. And this is going to be hauled in by the tight end Andrews. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews. No. 38 yards. Because I own. And the Ravens take the force yep. turnover on defense and convert it yes, into six points. Oh, they pitch to the tight end. It's a fake. And he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they had two more. Partner, one more time. Our whole lives, you put the ball on the three yard line, kick the extra point. 2015, they put it on the 15 to kick the extra point. 2016, they said, We're leaving it there. So if you want to fake it, that's a long way to go. And they got it done. I should have said they got a 15 yard play in their back pocket. <laughs> you don't see that on too many play sheets, do you? No. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. We're in Baltimore, third quarter action, second and ten. Now Allen. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Allen. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Here's Sam Martin now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked out and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. Now Jackson back into his end zone. Looking for Bateman. He's got him complete. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. So the previous play, a big help, as now they'll have it first and 10 up at the 20. Oh, and now some trickery. They fake the spike. He'll find Bateman once more. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And now what's this? They fake the spike. He'll throw it. That's going deep for Bateman. <laughs> and that is going to wind up incomplete. So they try to hit him with something you don't see too often. But it doesn't work out. And Jackson throwing once more. This one caught by his tight end, Andrews. 
And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 38 yard line. Play action. Now Jackson. He'll take a shot for the end zone. Now a battle for the football. It's caught. It's a touchdown. Devin Duvernay with an acrobatic catch. And the Ravens get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Boy, another score. This lead gets even bigger. And Charles, we haven't even hit the fourth quarter yet. Well, forget the deficit, right? They're really not going to cut into that a heck of a lot. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And it's caught inside the five. And he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more. Or onto their lead. Touchdown. They're going to take this up close to the 40, so really good starting field position. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but... Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. And the ball is knocked out, and it's picked up by the Ravens. There he goes, right side, inside the 10. Loose inside the 30. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. He's got a man complete. Look at the big fella go. Inside the 10. And all the way in for a range touchdown. Isaiah Likely, 98 yards. And the Ravens continue to run up the score. They lead it big here in the fourth. Jackson and the Ravens still on the field. They'll go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. Personally, I'd rather see him kick the extra point there than to go for two, but it almost feels like there's a story within the story here. I mean, this isn't college. You know, size and victory, that matters in those games. Here, all you have to do is win by one point. That's all that you need. Instead, they go for it, get two. You got some pretty ticked off folks on the other sideline now. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, OK, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Now Allen. Got a man, that's Trent Sherfield. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. And he's going to have to eat this one as Downey.
Jadavian Clowney showing the explosiveness on the sack. Here's Sam Martin now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12 yard line. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. I'm just wondering, do they want to add on to this gigantic lead? My guess, given how they like to play and how explosive this offense is, Charles, that they're not content being up by this margin. They probably want more. And if they do, go and get more. Oh, look out. At that point, let's just aim the camera for the first game handshake because that one might be a little... Oh, he fakes a spike. That's going deep for Bateman. And that is going to wind up incomplete. So they try to hit him with something you don't see too often. But it doesn't work out. The Ravens on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and a mile. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Look at the big man rumble. Inside the 20. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Uh, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we haven't been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Throwing on first down is Allen. He's got the hookup with Diggs. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. On play action, Allen. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 33. Allen to throw once more. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. Yeah, he'll work free from one tack. Well, but that's about all as he's taken down. From the gun, it's Allen. Right back to Cook for another completion. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. This will be caught just inside the 10. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that will bring up seven. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. Well, this game, it was well in hand early. Never really in doubt. Charles, you and I do so many games together. There's so much parity in the NFL. A lot of close battles. This was not one. Tip your cap.